the challenges that the, the retail environment are facing are unprecedented. But I'm pleased to say that um, our society is proactively looking at ways to grow and evolve our business. So within the first 28 weeks of the year, um, we've opened our new branch in Basildon, in our funeral department. As you can see from the pictures there, you know, the, the branch has benefited from an extensive refurbishment. Uh, and there's the picture of the, the formal opening. And then after a slow start, I'm pleased to say that the, the branch is now generating some positive income and interest. But we haven't just focused on bricks and mortar. So the society is evolving and exploring and expanding into online trading. So for a while now we've done, um, we've traded in our food business with the Snappy Shopper platform in two stores. I'm pleased to say that that's been extended now to 13 and we're hoping for positive results from that. But it isn't just food. So within our quadrant stores, we're now looking to trade uh, an online quadrant cook shop. And I'm pleased to say that that actually goes live tomorrow morning. Within our travel business in the near future, we again we'll be trading online. We'll be offering European holidays. Um, there'll be deposits from just from 60 pound per person, local flights from Stansted, uh, and it includes transfers and 22 kilograms worth of luggage as standard. As you'd expect from, from the business, it's at all and after protected. And then what you also get in addition to the online, you get the benefit of the support from our in-store branch teams. So business developments continued, so community hubs. So as part of the, the opportunity to develop our stores into community hubs, we're looking to extend our range of services into the, into the stores. So you can see there that in the near future we'll be um, installing Amazon lockers and every parcels collection points and drop off points into our stores. What this does, it drives footfall, it's added service to our members and customers, but it also generates some income. For the, uh, for the stores as well. New in store, so cover off most of the departments here. So department stores, as Barry has alluded to earlier, the team there have really gone out and worked hard to introduce some new brands into both stores. So Sugar Lane will be introduced into Chelmsford and Braintree. Apricot will be introduced into Chelmsford and Braintree. Douglas and Graham will, will go live in Chelmsford and Guide will go, line in go live in Chelmsford. So the team are really working hard to evolve that fashion brand. Our food stores, as I said, Barry mentioned there, that are struggling. So what we're trying to do is create interest and add new uh, ranges and just to make that sort of shopping environment more interesting uh, and relevant to where we are today. So in, we are replacing our in-store coffee offering so from the Lavazza brand, and we're, we're going live with the Prep Express brand. And I'm pleased to say we're only one of a handful of retailers that have managed to secure that in the business or in the country. So we are one of, I think, two or three um, retailers that have got that currently. And then one of the other things that we're looking at, really proactively looking at, is the right range, right store approach. So over the last two years, people's shopping habits have changed significantly. So what we are doing now is ranging our stores based on shopping habits, trends and affluence. And we believe that this will bring added benefit to our stores as we, you know, as we get the right range for the right store. And then really as, as a co-op you'd expect us to do this. So we, we believe this is doing the right thing. So in July this year we partnered with uh, Too Good To Go. Too Good To Go is an app, is an app based um, international app that provides a service to reallocate waste food to, to customers. Um, so we've joined with a number of other major retailers, Morrisons and a number of the, or most of the independent cooperative societies. Uh, restaurants and, and bakers are also involved, so Greg's, Harvester, Starbucks, they're all involved in it. What it involves really is the food that is going out of date today will be bagged, will be loaded onto the app um, and they'll be available for people to purchase at a third of the retail price. So we've set our retail at three pound. 
to just the original value is ten pound. It's purchased via the app, and again, then the customers and members come into store and collect. So again, it's driving footfall into store, um, and it basically it adds to. There's an opportunity then to facilitate additional top-up shopping, and just some headline numbers really. So this is up to last Monday. So from the the society store since July. We've managed to save 3,373 mils, 8.4 tonnes of CO2. To boost our online presence, so now there's 3,682 customers that have stored Chelmsford Star Co-op on the app as their favourite, and the customer rating is 4.1 out of 5. So I think so far, you know, it's been a really good uh, news story for the business.